quick video that I promised you uh, last night on banner, uh, running banners through Google AdWords. I talked about how I'm actually running retargeting on YouTube and running ads on YouTube, uh, which actually show up just below, uh, above in the upper right corner above the uh, recommended videos on the right side when you're actually viewing a video on, uh, on YouTube. So before we look at the YouTube retargeting one, here's just a regular banner group uh, of regular retargeting um, set of banners. And there's like six different sizes here. And this, the same size that we run on YouTube is this 300 by 250 uh, rectangular square, squarish, uh, this ad here. Um, and we can see on this retargeting campaign, our average click-through rate is 0.08%. Uh, Banners uh, normally don't get a very high click-through rate. It's very much interruption marketing, and um, a lot of times they don't get a, a very good click-through rate that you would normally get through search on AdWords. Um, but we can also see it, we'll see it here in a difference between the click-through rate on a regular retargeting ad versus the, the retargeting on YouTube um, here as well. So before we go over to that, we'll look at what my targeting here is on uh, these ads. And we can see, um, I just paused these this morning, but we could actually, it'll break down the ages um, automatically for you. And then if you have certain age groups that are not performing as well, then you can pause them. So like these, uh, the unknown age <clears throat> and the 55 to 64 year old group, uh, the the cost per click was a lot higher, so it was $4.63 for the 55 to 64 year olds, um, and then the unknown was $1.81. And so I paused those, and then I eventually just paused uh, this whole campaign. Um, but we can actually filter these. We could, if we wanted to, we could only display uh, the ad when certain keywords are, are found on that page. We can also do placements. Um, in this case, there isn't any placements. Topics is another one. It will actually see those in the uh, the YouTube placements. But the only thing that this one, these campaigns are running is they're running retargeting uh, segments. So uh, these are all the different retargeting lists that I have available within this AdWords account. So it actually runs across uh, multiple websites but I can share those lists across those websites. So if you're working with, uh, if, you, if you yourself have a network of sites or you're working with a client that has a network of sites, you can actually have all of those retargeting lists coming into one AdWords account, and then you can kind of pool the results uh, between them. So these are all between about five different websites. Um, anyone that visits those websites ends up getting put into a retargeting list, depending on what they, what they did. We also are retargeting people that watched videos on, um, on their YouTube channel. So here's a watched video from TI Swim, which is Total Immersion uh, Swimming, um, that creates and puts them in a list as well. And that's just by simply connecting your AdWords account to your YouTube account. So let's jump over to uh, these other set, which are uh, placements. Um, and so on this one, we are targeting based on interest. Um, so this is targeting people that um, have an interest in swimming because this is a swimming offer. And so we, we did get a couple clicks here. As we can see, the, the click-through rate isn't uh, that great, though it's, it's still a 0.09%. Um, and we looked at, we can actually drill into the gender. Those clicks actually came from unknown, um, so their gender wasn't available. And we can look at age groups as well. Um, and that was also unknown for this group. Uh, the other age groups, it, it hasn't had a click through on that. The website placements, this is where we can actually go in and target individual sites. So um, on these campaigns, I actually targeted um, several triathlete running uh, type of sites like Map My Ride, uh, Running in the USA, Let's Run. But we also targeted like Sports Network. Um, Washington Times, New York Times, and depending on your budget, you may not get on to like the Boston Herald or something. Um, in this case, the budget is only a dollar um, cost per click, 
If we switched this probably to about a $6 CPM, we would then be able to get into uh, those news sites. So actually even getting on uh, the Daily Record in the UK, um, Runner's World, CBS Sports, uh, higher bids would then get this onto those mainstream sites. Um, and I've included them in here just in the, in the off chance that we might actually got, get into some of those sites during remnant times. Um, in this case, there's no topics and there's no interests. So the only thing that is, um, is going on, this is the actual placements. Um, and then we are targeting just men. So we're not targeting the unknown or female. Uh, we're just targeting males on these ads and we're targeting 35 to 64 year olds. And that's where we are able to, uh, pull in the targeting that we have on there to just market to the people that we know uh, through our Facebook ads are the most responsive. The next one is actually YouTube retargeting, but it's targeting based on a topic. So um, we're actually an interest. So it's targeting sports, water sports, swimming. Um, and so we've, we've had 603 impressions on that so far. Uh, no clicks yet on that. Um, and we are again only targeting males in the ages of 35 to on up, it looks like, because we also have the 65 and more here. Um, and this campaign has not had any clicks yet. But the YouTube retargeting here with the 300 by 250, uh, this one has had clicks. Um, and to set this up, what we're doing is we don't have any keywords, but we have placements. So we're, we're targeting YouTube as a website in our placements. Um, and then in our case, the, we haven't refined this by any kind of topics and we haven't refined it like by swimming. We are only targeting based on the uh, retargeting list. So anyone that is in one of our retargeting audiences, well, when they go to YouTube, they're going to start seeing these ads in the upper right above recommended. Um, if they are, yeah, it looks like we didn't do any segmenting for just males. So it's it's any of these age groups. We just paused the 55 to 64 um, uh, and both male and female and unknown. And so it's, it's just that they are in our retargeting list and they are going to Facebook. Um, and with that, we're able to get about uh, right now, overall, it's $1.34 a click. Um, and we've had 50, 50 clicks uh, come through so far on that. Um, part of this is a lot of it is about branding. So branding the Total Immersion brand up on, on YouTube. It's a mainstream site that they're visiting that a lot of people spend a lot of time on that. And what we see is a lot of people come from seeing a banner ad to actually searching for that brand as well that then turns into the conversion. Anytime you're running any kind of paid campaigns, you have to look at it as a multi-touch scenario. So we're looking at running ads on different platforms. So at the same time I'm running a YouTube uh, retargeting ad, I'm also running a Facebook ad and a regular Google search ad. Um, and then sending emails to subscribers as well as doing social media. So all of those things working together is what creates a successful campaign. So hopefully you got something out of this. Um, hopefully you'll actually maybe try some uh, banner retargeting. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can just kind of set your budgets and just kind of uh, work with it. The biggest thing, the fastest way to learn is to actually do stuff. Um, and so that's what I invite you to do. Um, and... Thanks for tuning in.